Hey guys, good morning from the National Cathedral, where I'm a little bit hangry. My kids stole my breakfast, so I haven't had anything to eat yet. Uh, I think I'm just going to go to Rocklands before we start this little adventure. But while I'm here at the National Cathedral, I wanted to show you something that's kind of hidden on the backside, and you have to kind of know where it is to see it. So let me show you this cool thing. So greetings guys from the back of the National Cathedral today, where I've always known there was something, but now, now I'm going to actually take the time to show you guys this little hidden secret on the back of the National Cathedral. Let me get out the big lens and let's see if I can show you this. There you go. Darth Vader. Not technically a gargoyle, but a grotesque. A gargoyle is something that has like rainwater coming out of it. A grotesque is just something on the side of the building like this guy. But that's him. That is Darth Vader, carved in stone and on the side of the National Cathedral. You can actually buy copies of this from the National Cathedral gift shop if you need a stone gargoyle grotesque type Darth Vader for your home collection. There's a more traditional grotesque, but there are dozens if not hundreds of these things on the side of the building. You could spend all day just cataloging them. I mean, look at that dude. Ugh. All sorts of gargoyles. So yeah, that was Darth Vader up on the cathedral. There's a bunch of other stuff up there. Uh, I don't even know. I think there's like Jonah swallowing the whale. No, Jonah being swallowed by the whale. Other way around. <laughs> and there's some bunny rabbits. And there's a dude that looks like Yoda. I don't know. It's kind of strange. It's not Yoda. Anyway, uh, we're going to go down to the National Mall today. There's really no big activity. Uh, the president's coming back tonight about 6.30, I think, but I can't cover it because I've got a dinner. So we're just going to enjoy Washington, D.C. today. Not really. Yeah, once again, creature of habit. So we're on an electric bike, and we're happy once again. We're in Georgetown over here on 34th Street, and right up here number 1610 34th street is the former home of roald dahl now dahl for those of you who study children's literature wrote charlie and the chocolate factory and matilda and several other books that are very very popular today but before that time he was working for mi6 the british intelligence service and he was stationed here in washington dc to help curry favor with american politicians and leaders towards the war effort against Hitler. Now Dahl, he took the job very personally, and he became the lover of Claire Booth Luce, and he used her to get a lot of information about fellow congressmen, politicians, and the gossip going on in Washington, D.C. Hey, we're already down on this street, P, which is the Cobblestone Street. Ugh. Let's see if we can ride the rail here. This is one of the old streetcar tracks that we're riding on. We're going to head over to Georgetown University because it is such a gorgeous day today. We're out of the way of that diesel pickup truck who's basically rolling coal in my face. There we go. All right, we are off now into Georgetown. And over here is one of the side entrances to campus. Let's cut up this road. and then out onto the quad. Now Georgetown is back in session. They started about a week and a half ago. Uh, the students have been trickling back. I wouldn't say trickling, they've been sort of basically running back to get back on campus and get away from their parents. Koi pot. Some goldfish. We're on the campus of Georgetown University right now. This is the, the old main quad area with the big trees, the kids sitting out on blankets reading poetry. Well, maybe not that, probably just looking at TikToks. <laughs> Let's come across. I'm old enough to remember when buildings like this had ivy on it. Then they decided ivy was destroying buildings and they took it all off. It's pretty much nationwide, I think. This is the main administration building at campus. Uh, 
This is uh, Holy Trinity Church. This is where we see uh, Joe Biden go to church on Sundays when he's in Washington, D.C. This was John F. Kennedy's church when he lived in Washington, D.C. as local. And let's just come back through here. This is a deli for the students. Down here is the quintessential Georgetown pub, The Tombs. It's said that St. Elmo's Fire was basically based on the tombs, though not actually filmed there, but the same kind of campus town par. This here, 3600 Prospect, is The Exorcist House, where they filmed the movie The Exorcist. And right down here is where they filmed the final scene. Oh, I better check the brakes now before, well, before I die. There we go. These are the exorcist steps from the movie. And if you haven't seen the movie, I recommend it. A little bit scary. But uh, those steps play a major role in the film, especially in the final few minutes. Oh, let's go uphill. There we go. All right, let's cut down M Street, the main street here in Georgetown, which is a traffic nightmare this guy that works all these double parked cars making things more miserable this is Clyde's this is one of the oldest pubs around very traditional like very preppy kind of place I think Clyde's actually owns the tombs which is the place in Georgetown I showed you Clyde's is now a chain in D.C. It's okay. I prefer the tombs. Okay, let's go down this hill. a little bit of a traffic jam all those bikers were backed up seems to be a lot more people out today but it is absolutely gorgeous it's about 72 degrees that's about what 23 22 23 celsius uh low humidity not a cloud in the sky nice breeze coming in it's a pretty gorgeous day it's basically a 10 out of 10 kind of day I keep wanting to go through this fountain, but there's always little kids in my way, and I don't want to run them over. Oh well. One day they'll allow big kids to ride bikes through there. <laughs> Snapping pictures. Ah, I just hit another tree. I don't know why I keep hitting trees. There's a good view of the water gate. It's kind of like, it's a curved building. It's kind of funky. I've only been in there once, like five days after I moved to Washington, D.C. the very first time. I was still fresh out of college. I went to a party there for my school's alumni association. Oh, there's Georgetown back there. Okay, trail is closed. That's actually not a bad thing because I don't really like that trail. Oh, what the heck kind of statue that is. But I saw someone, someone called this statue here the ugliest statue in Washington, D.C. It's made by a German artist, and it's supposed to have, like, all facets of American life, including, like, a battleship, a Statue of Liberty. No idea what that is. Look over there. There's, like, a guy getting stabbed or something like that. Uh, naked guy getting stabbed. More people climbing for something. I don't know. It's just a really weird piece of art. <laughs> Oh, so check a look at this. See this like construction here? This is kind of cool. This is a new tunnel. Yep. So this bike lane is actually really dangerous. You're basically right next to a freeway. If you go off the curb, you're gonna die. So to combat that, the government has decided to build a new tunnel, a tunnel through the Teddy Roosevelt Bridge. And they have started to just basically plow right through this bridge and move the bicycle lane uh, through the bridge tunnel that they're building. So, a new tunnel for Washington. 
Well, it is the holiday, yeah? And there is a pretty decent crowd out here for the holidays, including wedding shoot, blushing the bride, and lots of other folks taking in the sights on this gorgeous, gorgeous day. Okay, we're up at the World War II Memorial. The fountains are gushing, and I'm sure there are a bunch of kids playing in the fountains. The rangers go around and say, please don't play in the fountains. The kids are like, we're kids. It's what we do. <laughs> and uh, the fountains become sort of like a foot massage for a lot of people. Resting their tired feet. Like cooling them off in the fountain. Too many jump in front of me kind of people today. But we're thinking about, oh, what's this? Okay, there is, it looks like there's a DeLorean on the mall. <laughs> I'm not kidding, it looks like there's a DeLorean on the mall. Let's go take a look. There is a DeLorean on the mall. Marty! Doc! Marty. So it looks like Doc Brown's DeLorean is out here on the mall. This was the one featured in the movie. A little replica of it. Hmm. Can you guys see it now? Hey guys, we're on the National Mall. I actually just kind of rode through the grass a bit. We're gonna head up to the U.S. Capitol, though I know there's not a lot going on up there. But hey, why not ride around and see for yourselves? Then we'll uh, spin down to the White House, check out how things are there, maybe find a second lunch. Let's head up this way. How are we gonna get up there? So much easier going up with a pedal assist. Now normally when the snow comes, people will come out here and go sledding on Capitol Hill. It's not a very big steep hill, it's a lot of little kids basically. But it's sort of a Washington tradition. This year they didn't get the chance to do it due to the uh, militarization of Capitol Hill last winter. A water truck, some rental trucks. And I just picked up a bunch of fences and I'm cleaning up that construction. Alrighty, we're out on the plaza and it is quiet. Not many cars park out here. I think the congressmen are pretty much the only ones allowed to come out here, besides security and whatnot. But even then, they don't like to park out here. They prefer to park in the office buildings nearer to their office. This is the Navy's ambulance. I think there's two actually. And they provide medical care for the congressman and for the whole Capitol complex. Navy corpsman. There's the Capitol. And down under this, this is the uh, visitor center below us. So this is. Alrighty, let's go out to this fountain. Because it's really pretty out here. At nighttime, this fountain lights up with like multiple colors on like a timer. So you can come out here at night and take some really pretty photos. It's not just the fountain you're taking a photo of, it's the backdrop. Because from this angle, the backdrop is the U.S. Capitol building. So when this is all lit up and the Capitol Dome's in the background, well, 
you can just imagine how pretty it is. Maybe one night we'll come out here. So that's the Russell Senate office building. It's under renovation. There's a massive bunch of scaffolding around that one. I think Russell and Cannon are the two office buildings under major renovation right now. Cannon's a house office building. Russell being a Senate building. If you go to the Architect of the Capitol's website, they'll tell you all the current construction projects that are ongoing. The Architect of the Capitol is in charge of all the physical facilities. Everything down to the trees out here, the telephone lines inside, and the new construction. And up there is the big blue rooster, top the National Gallery of Art East Building. I read that's a 14-foot rooster placed on top of the art gallery. We'll swing by and check that out one day. Here is a homeless camp in front of the courts. So that was the National Gallery East building, the modern art. That's the West building. That's the more traditional and classical art. And then over here on this side of the street, is the Canadian Embassy. And the building is actually kind of a work of art. It's really quite pretty. They're closed as well right now, not just COVID due to Labor Day. Most of the embassies follow American holidays, so most of them are closed today. There's the Hard Rock Cafe. I can't believe it's still open. I haven't been there in forever, but uh, maybe I'll go there with my kids to let them experience a Hard Rock Cafe one time. Kind of Hollywood's out of business, isn't it? No, it doesn't around anymore. Uh, oh yeah, we're, so that building right up here on the right is Ford's Theater, where Abraham Lincoln was shot. This is actually a very big tourist area. So that is Ford's Theater, red building. They still have plays there. They still have uh, performances go on there. Over here on this side of the street is the house where Lincoln died. His body, his, he was brought over here. There was a doctor's house at the time. And he lived about a day before he passed away from his injuries. Now, Marine One is doing about 7 o'clock tonight, but I've got a dinner tonight. So I'm going to miss, miss Marine One's arrival tonight. But I think they're going off to, I'm not sure where they're going this week. I know next weekend they're going to New York and Pennsylvania and out to the Pentagon as well. What is this? There's a ventriloquist here. them to finish washing this road so that we can go back out and get some of the sweeper. Wow, it is quite crowded here today. We're going to swing out away from the tourists as much as possible. It's pretty crazy today. Quite a few tourists. Just Segway dudes. There isn't a Marine on station at the moment. Well, there are probably some Marines in the building, but he's not standing post out in front of the West Wing. Not much going on. The uh, high pressure washer machines that we've seen them using to wash the street are sitting silent over here. Ultra high pressure wash. I talked to the guy, it's not actually an acid wash, it's just a high pressure wash to uh, change the color of the street a little bit. 
I think in part to uh, reflect the sunlight rather than get really, really hot. Not sure. Also maybe for the historical appearance of this area. They don't want it to be a black asphalt street. They want it to be this sort of stone color that you see here on the right. Yeah, you can see the difference up over there. There's a, the black is on the left and on the right is the part that's already been washed. Yeah. Oh, here we go. So this is the, here we go, before, after, before, before, after. It looks pretty much the same to me. All right, let's spin out of here, yeah? I didn't know that. Oh, the Secret Service has a couple of golf carts. Standing. Oh, that's Blair House right there. Pretty quiet. This is Trowbridge House, which I guess is part of the presidential townhouse for four former presidents where they can stay. No, very few ever do. Bill Clinton and Barack Obama both have houses in Washington, D.C. Uh, Bush, I don't think he, he does. It. Carter likes to stay at the Hay Adams Hotel. And we are back in action. Camera number two has been enabled. And we are now filming again on the campus of George Washington University. I was just saying is I think the students are actually in session with free rig. Oh, it's a poster sale. I mean, what is a college university without a poster sale? Anime. Movie posters, Fleetwood Mac. Okay, who buys, like in this day and age, who buys a Fleetwood Mac poster? Okay, I, that, that's for like that's for like the dads who come here. Oh yeah, kid, you gotta have a Fleetwood Mac poster in your dorm room. That just makes you a college kid. <laughs> yeah, okay, dad. <laughs> actually a helipad up on the roof of the GW hospital. I never noticed one. I see the windsock there right now. And I've read about helicopters going in. I've just never actually seen them go in there. This is Ronald Reagan Institute of Emergency Medicine at George Washington Hospital. Named after probably their most famous patient of the emergency room. Now this is crazy. I'm going the wrong way in this circle. Yeah, this is nuts. There we go. Less crazy now. Oh, look at this. This is a cabinet level motorcade. See that vehicle? So that, that black vehicle followed by a secondary black security vehicle. That is definitely, see, he's even blocking position. I don't know who that is, uh, but it's probably like a cabinet secretary. Now, those in the national security, it could be the secretary of state, to be honest could be the Secretary of State because he's going down that street. It could also be some of the military people. The military, though, usually have like four or five vehicles. This guy's happy. versus car versus bus. Dog, pig, dog, pig, loaf of bread. <laughs> Not much else going on today on Labor Day in Washington. Pretty, pretty quiet. 